Imagine our entire solar system peacefully drifting through the galaxy, suddenly caught in the middle of a galactic collision. What if everything we know, our sun, earth, and the stars in the sky, were thrown into cosmic chaos? Galaxies crashing into each other sounds like science fiction, but it's an inevitable reality. In this video, we'll unravel the mystery behind what happens when galaxies collide, and more importantly, what happens to our solar system. Will Earth survive the space catastrophe, or are we doomed to be flung into the dark void of space? Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how these universe collisions unfold, and what that means for the future of humanity. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to join us as we explore the most mind-blowing events in the cosmos. Picture this, the vastness of space, where galaxies swirl and dance through the cosmos, sometimes on a direct collision course. A galactic collision occurs when two galaxies are drawn toward each other by their gravitational pull eventually merging together in a cosmic ballet that's both awe-inspiring and terrifying. These events aren't rare, far from it. In fact, they're happening right now, somewhere in the universe. Take the Milky Way, for example. It's set to collide with the Andromeda Galaxy in roughly 4.5 billion years. The idea of entire galaxies crashing together might sound like the end of the universe itself, but it raises a critical question. What happens when these giants clash? Does it spark a new wave of star formation? Or is it the doom of everything caught in between? Now, it's easy to assume that a galactic collision means total solar system destruction, but the reality is more nuanced and more mysterious. When galaxies collide, it's not like cars crashing into each other on the freeway. The vast distances between stars mean that while the gravitational forces will shake things up, the stars themselves don't typically smash into one another. Instead, gravitational forces tug at solar systems, potentially flinging them into new orbits, or even ejecting them entirely from the galaxy. But what happens to planets like ours, delicately balanced in the gravitational pull of the Sun? That's where things get really interesting, because a cosmic impact of this magnitude could have drastic consequences for the stability of entire star systems. Galactic collisions often leave behind fascinating clues about the universe's violent past, like the remnants of galaxy mergers visible to astronomers today. But here's where curiosity really kicks in. Do these epic crashes destroy everything, or do they pave the way for new beginnings? Sure, the chaos could scatter solar systems, but at the same time, collisions can also lead to bursts of new star formation, with galaxies mixing their material like a cosmic blender. So, what does this mean for our future in the Milky Way? The answer is both exhilarating and terrifying, as we'll discover in the next chapter of this galactic saga. So, what happens to our solar system when galaxies collide? This is where things get a bit unsettling. When two massive galaxies like the Milky Way and Andromeda are on a collision course, the gravitational forces at play are staggering. These forces can disrupt entire solar systems, pulling them out of their orbits or flinging them into completely different parts of space. While it's unlikely that stars will crash into one another, solar systems are far from safe. The sun, for instance, could be pulled apart by these forces. Or if we're lucky, it might drift peacefully into a new region of the newly formed galaxy. But what about Earth? Could our planet be ejected into the cold, dark emptiness of intergalactic space? That's a scenario that's hard to imagine, but not impossible. The good news is that scientists don't think Earth is in immediate danger of getting ripped apart. However, a Milky Way collision with Andromeda could send shockwaves through our solar system, disrupting the delicate balance we depend on for Earth's survival. You see, our planet's orbit around the Sun is finely tuned, and even small changes in gravitational forces could throw everything out of whack. A sudden gravitational shift might pull us closer to the sun, scorching the planet, or push us farther away, freezing everything. And that's just the beginning. Imagine the chaos if other stars and solar systems got close enough to us. A passing star could tear apart the outer planets, or even send asteroids crashing into Earth. 
It's a cosmic game of billiards, and we're stuck on one of the balls. But here's where the real mystery lies. Could our solar system somehow escape and scathe? Some scientists believe that instead of facing destruction, our sun and its planets could end up floating safely in a new part of the galaxy after the galaxy crash. Sure, things would be different. Our night sky might look entirely alien with new constellations and stars we've never seen before. But life could theoretically go on. It's a chilling yet fascinating thought. Our solar system, adrift in a newly merged galaxy, still orbiting the sun, but in an entirely different cosmic landscape. And as we explore the timeline of these events, we'll see just how long we might have to prepare for this space catastrophe. Now, let's break down the timeline of this impending galactic collision. The Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies are speeding toward each other at an astonishing rate of around 110 kilometers per second. But don't worry just yet. Even at that speed, it will take about 4.5 billion years for the first contact to happen. When it does, the early stages of the collision won't be an immediate disaster. At first, the galaxies will pass through one another like ghosts, with stars and planets mostly avoiding direct collisions. However, this is just the beginning. The real chaos happens over millions of years, as gravitational forces between the galaxies start to tug and pull at their stars and gas clouds, creating long, spiraling arms of disrupted material. This cosmic impact is a slow-motion event, unfolding over a period that stretches far beyond human lifetimes. In the early stages, both galaxies will start to deform as their mutual gravitational pull grows stronger. The stars in each galaxy will experience a sort of tug of war, being pulled in different directions, which could lead to the formation of new stars in areas where gas clouds collide and compress. Imagine entire star systems being hurled around as the galaxies dance together. For us, this means that while Earth won't feel the effects immediately over time, our solar system could be dragged into a completely new orbit, or even sent flying into deep space. It's a strange thought, the solar system we call home, drifting through a chaotic galaxy merger. But here's where things get even more fascinating. After the initial dance of destruction, these two galaxies will begin to merge into a single, massive, elliptical galaxy. This final stage could take another billion years to fully play out. So, could we ever witness this? Not likely in person, but astronomers are already watching other distant galaxies in the midst of collision, giving us a sneak peek into our cosmic future. Over these millions and billions of years, we'll see star formation ramp up, entire regions of space being reshaped, and the eventual merging of the Milky Way and Andromeda. The process will be slow, but the consequences will be immense. And as the galaxies come together, what will happen to the fragile blue planet we call home? That's where things get even more interesting as we dive into the fate of Earth. As galaxies collide and chaos unfolds across the cosmos, what exactly happens to Earth? Our planet, snug in the arms of the solar system, seems fragile when you consider the scale of a galactic collision. If the Milky Way and Andromeda collide, the gravitational forces unleashed could disrupt Earth's orbit, potentially flinging us into deep space or even sending us hurtling toward the Sun. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's break it down. Earth may be small on the cosmic scale, but its fate depends heavily on the solar system's position during the merger. If we're near the edge of the galactic disk, we could be ejected into intergalactic space, where the lack of heat and light would spell certain doom for all life. The thought of Earth drifting away from the Sun, lost in the cold vastness of space, is chilling. But there's another possibility. Instead of being flung into the void, our planet could find itself caught up in the gravitational push and pull between the two merging galaxies. This could destabilize our orbit, causing wild fluctuations in climate or even worse, it could bring us uncomfortably close to another star system. Imagine the catastrophic effects of a nearby star's gravity pulling on Earth. Our seasons would change, ocean tides would rise dramatically, and the very atmosphere we depend on could be ripped away. In a worst-case scenario, 
a rogue star, or planet could collide with us, triggering a space catastrophe on an unimaginable scale. So, would humanity have any chance of surviving this galactic drama? It's hard to say. The timeline is long, and if we're still around when the merger begins, we might have time to prepare. Advanced technology could help us seek refuge on other planets or even in other solar systems. If we've mastered space travel by then, we could relocate to a more stable part of the galaxy, far away from the turbulence of galaxy mergers. But even in this scenario, we can't predict every outcome. Earth's fate in this universe collision remains one of the great cosmic mysteries, leaving us to wonder if we'll be able to witness the end of our solar system or simply vanish into the darkness of space. Now, how do scientists even begin to study these complex events? That's where things get even more intriguing. Galactic collisions might sound like something straight out of science fiction, but they're very real and scientists have developed incredible ways to study these cosmic events. Using powerful telescopes like the Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers can peer deep into space, observing galaxies in various stages of collision. They don't just watch from afar, though. These observations provide the data needed to create detailed simulations. These models allow scientists to visualize what happens when galaxies collide, how stars are affected, and what could potentially happen to solar systems like ours. By studying galaxy mergers in other parts of the universe, we're essentially looking into our own future. But how exactly do these simulations work? Well, scientists input data about the mass, size, and gravitational forces of the galaxies involved. The simulations then map out how the galaxies interact over time, predicting the paths of stars, gas clouds, and even entire solar systems. These models help scientists answer key questions like, could a galactic collision spark new star formation? Will black holes grow as galaxies merge? And most importantly, what will happen to Earth and the solar system during the Milky Way collision with Andromeda? The fascinating thing is that these simulations can be tweaked and run again with slightly different parameters, giving us a clearer understanding of the wide range of possible outcomes. But studying these collisions isn't just about predicting the future. It's also about learning from the past. By observing distant astrophysics events, galaxies that have already collided, scientists can see the remnants of these cosmic impacts and compare them to their models. Every galaxy collision they study adds another piece to the puzzle. With each new observation, we get a little closer to understanding how our universe evolves. And while we've learned a lot, many mysteries remain. Will our solar system survive the impending crash? Could these findings help us find a way to protect Earth from the chaos? The answer may lie in the aftermath of these collisions, which we'll explore next. Once two galaxies have collided and the dust begins to settle, the aftermath is both destructive and creative. After the initial chaos of a galaxy crash, the merging galaxies start to form a new, singular structure, usually an elliptical galaxy. This process doesn't happen overnight. It can take hundreds of millions, even billions of years for the galaxies to fully merge. During this time, gravitational forces settle, stars find new orbits, and gas clouds collide, often igniting a burst of new star formation. In this cosmic rebuilding process, black holes at the centers of both galaxies may also merge, growing larger and exerting more influence over the surrounding space. But what does all this mean for the future of the new galaxy, and more specifically for planets like Earth? Well, the merging process can lead to a much denser galaxy, with more stars packed into a smaller space. This increases the likelihood of solar system destruction as some stars may drift too close to others, disrupting planetary orbits. However, once the merger is complete, the galaxy stabilizes. Life could potentially emerge in newly formed solar systems or even continue on planets that manage to survive the chaotic collision. But here's the kicker. This new galaxy would be a very different place. The night sky on surviving planets might be filled with an unfamiliar web of stars, unlike anything we see today. As the cosmic dust settles, the universe moves on, 
reshaping and renewing itself in the aftermath of these cosmic impacts. Scientists believe that after the Milky Way collision with Andromeda, our solar system could either be flung to the far edges of the new galaxy or remain somewhat close to the core, with a completely altered view of the heavens. Will life be able to thrive in such a dynamic and turbulent galaxy, or will everything be too chaotic? The future remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. Galactic collisions are part of the natural cycle of the universe, creating destruction, but also laying the groundwork for new beginnings. What comes next is up to the stars and perhaps up to us. So, now that we've explored the wild possibilities of a galactic collision, what do you think will happen to Earth? Will we survive the chaos? Or is our fate sealed in the cosmic dance of galaxy mergers? These astrophysics events remind us just how fragile and extraordinary our place in the universe truly is. What steps could humanity take to prepare for such a distant, yet inevitable event? Could we even survive in a new, unfamiliar galaxy? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow space enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss more fascinating cosmic insights. And if you're curious about what's in store for Earth when the Milky Way Andromeda collision happens, check out our previous video. Will Earth survive the Milky Way Andromeda collision? It's packed with jaw-dropping facts and might just change the way you think about our future in space. Thanks for watching.